wouldn't be an unnerving experience for even the most enthusiastic parent. Bringing home a baby with special medical needs can be downright frightening. But tomorrow, Presbyterian Hospital will, uh, will unveil a new program to help those parents. Family reporter Maura Quinn reports on the program that eases the transition. We wait so long for this. She was born six months ago, six months and almost two weeks. So it's about time to, to go home. I'm nervous. Victoria Yaskernia was born 16 weeks prematurely. She weighed only one pound, five ounces at birth. It's difficult. This is our first child. We don't have any experience, so it will be much easier. If we have any questions, we just can ask nurses and give us better feeling about the... Her parents, Peter and Grozna, have never been alone with Victoria. So as a kind of practice run before they go home, they're beginning a three-day stay in parents' place. It's a specially equipped mini apartment across the hall from Presbyterian's intensive care nursery. Here, parents can be alone with their baby for one to five days. I'm just happy that, that we, can, we can stay here for a few days and, and, and I can prove myself that I can take care of Victoria. You got all that. Yeah. See? You're ready. See? You're ready. Nurse Trudy Pollock and other specialists have shown Grajna how to use the special equipment Victoria needs. Victoria still has a tracheotomy tube in her neck and still needs some tube feedings and oxygen. We feel like we have certainly accomplished a lot of teaching in the unit, but until they're really able to be by themselves and feel like they're by themselves, they're not confident. So we're hoping we'll build their confidence. And for Peter and Grozna, who moved here from Poland a few years ago, it's nothing less than a miracle. I would like to say we're we glad we came to the United States and... Maura Quinn, WBTV News, Charlotte. Peter, Grozna, and Victoria are the first to use Parents Place. It was built entirely with donations from Presbyterian employees they raised nearly $75,000 in a month's time. What a touching story mm -hmm. that was. Caring people. Whoa. Really? I know both of you all are parents.